So welcome back to data science in your pocket. This time we are running a very practical experiment where I am comparing CPU against different GPUs for different AI tasks. So we would be considering two tasks. One is summarization using T5 large that is an inferencing of an LLM and the other is fine tuning and then compare on the latency which particular GPU is the best for AI and how much they get boosted against a CPU. So I have been seeing many queries with GPU should I buy how much faster a GPU is from CPU. So this is the video for you. So let's get started. First of all, let's compare CPU with T4 GPU that is present on Google Colab for the two tasks. And then I will be demonstrating RTX 4090, RTX 5090 and yes. NVIDIA H100 as well. NVIDIA H100 is enterprise level GPU which is used, mainly used for pre-training but today we will be using it for inferencing also and showing the results as well. So let's get started. So in the first experiment as you can see I am running I am trying to summarize using T5 large about 100 articles as you can see on my screen there is no GPU so we are running completely on CPU and let's see how much time it takes. I won't be jumping into the codes as you can see here. There is a summarization pipeline that I'm loading from Hugging Face using T5 large. And I've created some about 100 articles that are fake. You don't need to know about the text, but I'm mainly interested in the time taken. So the first experiment using CPU summarizing 100 articles using T5 large. So T5 large, if you don't know, has about 700 million parameters about 0.7 billion parameters so it's a good take for a cpu so once i started running this it took about 2400 seconds to summarize 100 articles this is too much and about it takes 24 seconds to summarize one article hence inferencing of t5 large takes about 24 seconds for one iteration in this case now comparing it with Tesla T4 GPU that is the free version on Google Colab everything remains the same as you can see here GPU is true and GPU name is Tesla T4 and when you have a GPU this particular command start running in our above case it was showing none in this case you can see Tesla T4 is coming out we are running the same experiment T5 large summarizing about 100 articles and this took about 167 seconds yes my friends about 1.6 seconds per inference so now you can compare how much slow a cpu is compared to a gpu where tesla t4 given by collab for free is of a very mediocre range gpu once you start taking up the best ones you will see massive improvement let's move on to our next experiment that i did so in the next experiment, we did the same thing using GPU equals to fall and GPU name is none. That means the first experiment that we would be running is completely using CPU. And this time we are fine tuning distal but over our data set of about 8000 samples. So this is done because I want to show you the difference between both inferencing of an LLM and fine tuning of an LLM. Because most of the time, some of the GPUs are optimized for fine tuning, some of them are optimized for pre training, and some of them are optimized for inferencing. So, here also, we won't be diving deep into the code, it's not required. You just notice that I am running one epoch using the CPU, and here you can see the time 2441 seconds. That means for cover running through 8000 samples for fine tuning on CPU, it took about 2400 seconds on a CPU. This is too much, I would say. Now running the same code with a GPU that is Tesla T4, as you can see. The code remains the same. And I am running it for 5 epochs. Yes, you heard it right. It's 5 epochs I am running for. And for 5 epochs, it took just 243 seconds. Crazy timing. So if you divide by 5, it took about 50 seconds per epoch in comparison to 2400 seconds on a CPU. This is a massive improvement when you use a GPU. Hence, 
you might have now understood how fast a gpu compared to a cpu i repeated the same experiments in rtx 4090 rtx 5090 and h100 also let me show you the results as well so here is the experiment that i did for using rtx 4090 you can see the gpu name is nvidia geforce rtx 4090 summarizing articles everything remains the same t5 large is there summarization and the time taken is mere 69 seconds so if you remember it took about 167 seconds by t4 it took about uh, 2400 seconds for cpu and for 4090 it took just 70 seconds and for fine tuning distal but the same code that we are using for fine tuning for the previous two the time taken is 60 seconds for five epochs so per epoch it's about 12 seconds so if you remember the time was 2400 seconds for cpu 50 seconds for tesla t4 for one epoch and 12 seconds for 4090 it's about five times faster crazy now we'll talk about rtx 5090 the experiments remain the same but i got some surprising results here Though RTX 5090, as you can see, is an upgrade over 4090 when I was using it for AI task, be it the summarization using T5 large or fine tuning distal, but the results were a little shocking. It was slower than 4090. As you can see, summarize 100 articles in 75 seconds compared to 69 seconds taken by 4090. And for fine tuning distal, but if you look here, the time taken was 125 seconds, which is about double than 4090. So why did this happen? I will tell you in the upcoming experiments. Now moving towards the beast. H100 is the enterprise level GPU that you won't get in your local. You won't be able to buy. It's very expensive and usually used by tech companies like Google or Facebook for training their LLMs. I got an instance for free for some time, hence experimented this out. Here you can see the NVIDIA H180 GB. This is the GPU I use. Repeated the same experiments. T5 large. Summarization 100 articles took about 60 seconds. So this is the fastest till now. But again, if you have noticed, NVIDIA H100 should be about 2 to 3 times faster than 4090. But that didn't happen. It got a mere boost of about 20 to 30 percent. Now going to fine tuning distal but experiments remain the same. The data remains the same. We again trained it for five epochs and the time taken was 46 seconds for five epochs as you can see. So how much time it took about say nine seconds for each epoch. So it, this is still the fastest, but it is not up to standards of H100. Now, summarizing all the results, as you can see on my screen, for T5, infer uh, T5 inferencing 100 article summarization, CPU took about 2400 seconds, while T4 took 167 seconds, RTX 4090 was 69 seconds, 5090 was 75, and H100 was 60 seconds. Compared to the boost, Boost was a CPU. T4 was about 15 times faster. 4090 was about 30 times, 35 times faster than a CPU. Same goes for 5090 and H100 was about 40 times faster. Not talking about distal but fine tuning. 5 epochs, 7.5k records. So as we run it for just one epoch multiplied by 5 for CPU, it would be estimated around 12,000 seconds. This was way slower on a CPU. So fine tuning or pre-training would be very slow on CPU. Talking about T4 GPU, the time was boosted quite heavily. About 50 times faster than a CPU. RTX 4090 was 200 times faster than a CPU. 5090 was about 100 times faster. And H100 was about 260 times faster. Now a couple of anomaly that we have seen here is 5090 was slower than 4090. And H100 also was not giving us the best as expected outputs. Couple of reasons for that. Most of the time, the, the hardware has been updated, but the softwares are not. So the libraries that we are using, be it Hugging Face, Transformers, Diffusers for fine tuning, 
may not be optimized to use RTX 5090 or H100. If you don't know, RTX 5090 was recently launched by NVIDIA using a Blackwell architecture. Hence, the architecture has also changed a bit. So, this might be contributing that the softwares are still not optimized. Second thing, H100 was not that fast because when I was reading, the models that we are using, the tasks that we are giving are not up to mark for H100. Right? H100 uh, beast of a GPU and it should be used like that. Uh, it should not be used for mere tasks like distill but fine tuning or T5 large inferencing because you won't be able to see the difference. You would be able to see the difference when you're pre-training or fine tuning huge LLMs. In that case, you would be able to see a stark difference between the different GPUs. So after comparing this CPU versus GPU, one thing is for sure that RTX 4090 is the most optimized GPU right now and should be your go-to choice for GPUs because most of the libraries are also optimized accordingly. It's state of the art and it's the highest upgraded one. H100 is very expensive and for uh, tasks that you would be using, I don't think so you would require it. 5090 is still not optimized according to libraries and hence is not as fast as 4090 but RTX 4090 looks to be our go-to solution. Also, as you can see, Compared to a CPU, GPUs are way faster. They are getting a boost of about 50 cross, 200 times cross. And this would become huge when you are trying to pre-train or fine-tune AI models that are huge in number. So, try avoiding CPUs for that because it will burn out your CPUs also. And this is the ultimate chart that you should look into for comparing CPUs with GPUs. Thank you so much.